In the last video, we discussed counting the number of arrangements possible when people were lining up or something like that. Um, we're going to introduce a new vocab word in this video called a permutation. And a permutation is an arrangement where the order you put the things in matters. So, um, we're talking about a situation like, I gave an example in the last video where you're having eight people running in a race, the top three get medals. The order that people finish in for that race matters a lot. It's getting gold, silver, or bronze is a difference in what the results say. So that would be an example of a permutation. Now we use a symbol for permutation here. It's a big P for permutation. And there are little subscripts, so smaller letters or numbers, on either side of the P. N over here on the left is going to tell you the number of possible choices... So we're looking at how many people you're actually choosing from when you're making your decision here. And R is going to be how many you pick. So it's how many total and how many you actually pick for the problem here. And there is a formula for NPR right here for doing permutations. It's going to be N factorial over N minus R factorial. And I'm going to show you how this formula works, actually using the same examples we did in our last video. So you guys will see them in action. So this slide should look familiar. We did these exact problems um, using blanks and figuring out the possibilities. And that's totally fine. But I'm going to show you a shorter way with the formula here. So eight people competing in a race. We want to know how many ways the top three medals can be won. We already said the order you put the people in matters. Getting gold or silver is different. Um, so we're going to have eight people... And we are going to be choosing three of them that we care about. There are eight things we choose from. Then we are doing a permutation. We want three of them. According to our formula, it's going to be this guy factorial over this minus this factorial, which eight minus three factorial is five factorial. And if you guys recall from our previous um, video, that's exactly what we had before. Now to go one step even easier than this, if you go back to the menu on your calculator, we're going to go ahead and hit, we're going to just type this original thing in the calculator right here. We don't even have to do this part. Hit the eights. And then if you go to the math menu, back to where it says PRB, probability, there's an option right there for NPR, for permutations. I'm just going to choose that option. I have my eight for N and my R. I wanted to choose three of them. If I just do that, it's going to tell me the answer. No even typing in this part or using the formula required. So we get 336. For my next problem here, again, it's a permutation because the order we put the people in for the leaderboard matters. If you're first place or second place or third or whatever, that's different. So we have 20 people and we are picking eight of them to put in a line right here. So if we use the formula, it's going to be n factorial, this guy factorial over this minus this, which is 12 factorial. Or like I said, go one step easier. Don't even bother with that. You just go to your calculator, type in your first number. We have the 20. We're going to go back to math over to NPR, and we wanted to choose eight of them. And you'll see that same large number there that we saw in our previous video for the total number of possibilities. So you can very quickly calculate permutations if you can establish what N and R are equal to.